everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow and the Motivators. I'm back with another video. Uh, I decided, let me just pick this camera up and uh, talk to my motivators for a while. I was sitting here trying to eat some breakfast. So what I have is some, I fried some sausage. These are the magnolia sausage. And I have a boiled egg. So I said, let me sit here and uh, eat and, and chat with the with the motivator for a little bit welcome back to my channel once again happy saturday happy weekend to everybody i hope everybody's having a blessed day on yesterday and a blessed day today because this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in this day thank god for this day so yeah i'm back i'm gonna be eating but mostly talking to you guys i want to um let me see phone right quick uh, I want to um, probably read the verse of the day and the devotion of the day with you guys and uh, you go from there so so how was everybody's Friday on yesterday let's take a bite of sausage My day was blessed, as always. Every day that you're above ground, that God wakes you up, you open your eyes, your heart beating, you're alive, it is a blessing. So, mm. <laughs> today is October 15th, the verse of the day is coming from Proverbs 16 and 9, and it reads like this, A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directed his steps. It says, Our heart devises our way, but God directs our steps. Thank God for God. And in the... um. The inspiration say it's our human nature to come up with plans, thoughts, and goals for the future. But we need to realize that God is the only one who truly knows what's best for us. When you have plans, would you like to make or actions you need to take about a particular decision? Make sure that whatever plans or actions you decide to take or make, that you Go to God first and put him first in your life. That's beautiful inspiration for the day. Then it's the prayer. Say, dear God, I commit all my plans, dreams, inspirations into your hands. These are the only products of my thought. What I truly want is what you want for me because I know that it is what truly will truly be best for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That is the verse of the day. Once again, coming from Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. The devotion. I hope all you guys are having a blessed Saturday. It's very early in the morning. I wasn't even going to record because I got up to came down here to do a, uh, a motivational video. But somebody was down here. And like I say... That is a part of me, not why I don't upload like I used to regularly. I don't have my space. Um, mm -hmm. And it's hard. And I don't want to be a complainer about it. Because the Lord said, be content in all your ways. And all, everything you do, be content with it. And I want to be content. We got the coldest water right here with ice water in it, and this is my iced coffee, you guys know. The devotion of the day is coming from Romans chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, and the title say, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Have you cut a Saturday night short? 
because you wanted to get up for church. And I can definitely agree that I have cut many sad nights short because I wanted to get up and be ready for church on time. And me, I am a Sunday school person. I'm an early morning riser, and but Sunday school is just my favorite of church service because you are in tune and deep into the Word of God, and I can get to focus and meditate on the Word of God and learn something new every time. So I definitely have cut a lot of Saturday night shorts to be able to get up and be ready and dressed and at church early enough for Sunday school. Let's go to Romans 1, 16 right quick so we can read that word and see what it's telling us. Romans. Mm -hmm. 1, 16. And it reads as this, coming from the first chapter of Romans, to starting at the 16th verse. And I'm going to do the 16th and 17th verse. And it says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it, and to the Jews first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. And the title, once again, say, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Are you ashamed of the gospel of God? I'm not. I'm not ashamed. And I don't mind spreading it, sharing it, telling nobody about it. I'm not ashamed. The inspiration say, Paul was a learned Jew who had first been an opponent of the early Christians, even to the point of participating in the stoning of St. Stephen's and the imprisonments of other Christians. When we became a Christian, when he became a Christian himself and then began preaching the good news of salvation, he was driven out of town by the Jews who believed he was a fraud out to entrap them. That's what they thought about Paul because Paul, remember, Paul had been known for for uh, punishing the peoples that believed in God, you know. Mm -mm. He was known for that. And then when he got converted and became a Christian, they said that he was driven out of town by the Jews because they believed he was trying to entrap them. They didn't believe that his faith was real, that he was sincerely you know, living and walking and seeking God. And then it says, some probably believe he was a traitor to Judaism. Either way, he spent the better part of his life preaching to the Gentile world. He was not afraid to admit he had been wrong about Jesus. See, Paul had to admit that. When God converted him, he converted him. He cleansed him up. He was not afraid to admit that he had been wrong about Jesus, about Christianity. He was not ashamed to preach of his newfound truth. Most of us have always been Christians. However, have you ever been ashamed to admit it? Have you ever been ashamed to admit that you was a Christian? Now, I'm sure not all of you go to church on a regular basis, so I'm, I'm, not, go, I'm not judging, but I do have a question for those of you who do. Have you ever been embarrassed while on a vacation? Or while attending a conference, ask where the nearest church is for a Sunday service. Have you cut a Saturday night short because you want to get up for church on Sunday? For the rest of you, have you stopped a friend or co-worker from telling dirty jokes or making offensive remarks? Or were you embarrassed to tell the friend it was against your moral values? We need to be proud of our faith and not embarrassed by it. And that is true. We need to be proud of our faith. We need to be proud to, to say Jesus on me. Jesus is the head of my life. You know, we're supposed to be proud of that, not shame. Because remember, the word says, if you be shamed to own my father, to own me, my father, which is heaven, is going to be ashamed to own you. So we got to get out of that being scared to confess and profess our faith. Okay? We have to. Then the prayer said, Faith for God, you have called us as you called your son. 
power to be your disciple. May we never be ashamed to tell others that we follow you. Amen. I don't never want to be afraid to tell anyone that I follow God, that I believe in God, that the Lord is my Christ, okay, that he is the head of my life. Never. So this, I just love reading and studying the word because you get so much knowledge, so much wisdom, so much power. Studying the word of God gives you power over a lot of things. It gives you power over demonic spirits. It gives you power, period. Okay? It teaches you how to pray, what to pray for, when to pray. It's just good. It's just good. It's just good. So we must remember, once again, the the uh, verse is coming from Proverbs 16 and 9, and it's talking about how our heart divides our ways, but it's letting us know that the Lord directs our steps and that we should always put God first whenever we're trying to come up with some goals and plans or anything in our life. God is first. He's always should be head of our life, and we need to commit all of our plans all of our goals, everything we want to do or trying to do, we need to commit that to God first and let him lead and guide us because he will direct our steps. That's true. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys and read that. But let me tell you something else, though. I have, the Lord have given me this message. And I have not did it yet, but I'm going to try to get around to it today. Like I say, I just, I don't have my own space here. And and it really um, unmotivate me to want to come on and continue to do my videos because I need space. I'm so used to space. And um, so we'll get back to it. We will. I promise you I'm going to get back to being consistent. Like I was, but let me tell you what the message is. As I wrote it down, look at all the scriptures. These are all the scriptures that have been put in my spirit. So this is going to be my next motivational video. And it's going to be about the benefits of going to heaven. I don't know um, why my spirit lead me to do this, this particular message. But yeah, it's going to be good. I got a lot of scriptures to study, to think about, so that when I read them, I can be able to explain them to you guys really good. Give you guys what God give me. And that's how I want. That's how I want. You know, my life is, I'm, right now, the way I feel in my heart, in my life, I am so, I feel so close to the Lord that I know I can do anything he want me to do. But there are so many different hindrances that's coming up against me and not like in a bad way, but just in a way to hinder that walk, you know, like stumbling blocks, you know. And this this um, this platform right here, Miss Glow Glow and the Motivators, is a platform that is to be used to spread the good news of God, the gospel to feed the babes in Christ, you know, to help somebody to grow and to, to mature, to get to know Christ better, to get off of that baby food and step into eating that solid food. And th that's where the hindrances come up. I don't know. I just feel like it's, I just ask God. That's, I'm just going to say this. I pray and ask God every day to remove this thorn out of my flesh because that's what it is. It's a thorn. And I think real soon that those avenues, those doors, those windows, those locks, those chains is going to be broken. In a minute, I'm going to be free. And I'm going to be out there spreading that word, sharing that word. Whew. It's going to be just like fire set up in my soul. I'm telling you, it's going to be powerful. Right now, I got my little, I'm going through my little trials and tribulations and stuff, you know. I have my little storm, but the thing I know is this. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. 
And I know my morning is soon to come. Mm-hmm. But in my waiting and patiently, in my enduring, I will not get weak. I will stay strong. I will keep fighting. I will keep coming back. I will keep holding on to God unchanging hand. Because the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is the head of my life. And I have been protected from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet with the whole armor of God. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper in Jesus Christ's holy name. And I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to end it. I didn't want it to be long. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to come back and do that one um, of spiritual motivation video. I'm not going to promise, but we'll see where God takes us. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, leave me a comment down below, and share this video out. I love you guys. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend to everybody. And I will see you on the next video. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay prayed up. Remember, we are all under one God, one nation, one love. Peace. Until the next video, remember that God loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son. And I love you too. Have a blessed Saturday. Because this is the day. This is the day. That the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Oh, I will rejoice. Oh, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Peace. See you later. Have a great Saturday.